Welcome to the Entrepreneur Evolution Podcast. This is our Entrepreneur Express Tip episode. I'm your host, Annette Walter, and this is the place where I share weekly business tips in five minutes or less to help you regroup from your week and prepare to launch into next week. Let's get started. Hey there, Rockstar. I hope you had a great week and you are ready for a solid weekend and to launch and propel into next week. Everyone is really busy out there. Things are happening. There are opportunities. I want to remind you to lift your head and think on your business. And I hope that you are running your business and your business isn't running you. So today's topic, we are talking about Clydesdale horses. And this is a really, really, really powerful analogy. So stick with me. Most of the times when I say Clydesdale, the Budweiser commercial pops into people's heads. It's a great marketing campaign and you get the visual of Clydesdale horses. One Clydesdale horse can pull 8,000 pounds, okay? So by itself, one Clydesdale horse pulls 8,000 pounds. If you put two Clydesdale horses together, they can pull 24,000 pounds. They triple. Even though you add one more horse, they are tripling the amount that they can pull. Side by side, two horses, three times the amount as one, 24,000 pounds. If those same two Clydesdale horses are trained together, in sync, have conditioned and worked together for a while. As a team, they can pull 32,000 pounds, okay? That is quadruple the amount of one Clydesdale horse. If you feel like you are in your business right now and you are only one Clydesdale, or maybe there is just a component of your business where you feel like it is only one Clydesdale horse working. Think about where you can add that additional horse to help you. And if you have the horses and they aren't in tandem, they aren't trained, they aren't working together in sync, think about how you can improve that, okay? That is the power of multiplying the power of building your team, the powder, power of actually strengthening and conditioning your team. And it is so important, okay? So you don't need to do this alone. Get the right team in place. Build the team in the right places, all right? I'll give you a quick example since we have some time. I, I, I keep these Entrepreneur Express tips in uh, under five minutes or less. And um, I was speaking with someone and I asked them about this. Are they one Clydesdale? Are they two Clydesdales? Are they Cly- two Clydesdales that are trained and, and a powerhouse? And uh, um, the first response from this business owner was, oh, we were two Clydesdales. We're in tandem. You know, we've even got four and eight and Clydesdales lined up and we are knocking it out of the park. And then I go in and ask a specific about a very, very, very targeted part of the business where they are actually in charge of that swim lane, okay? And instantly, it was identified that they felt like they were alone. They were doing all of the work, and it was only one Clydesdale, and they were the only Clydesdale functioning and doing it all by themselves. It was an aha moment. Okay, so even if you think that you have a powerhouse team, you can always look in different areas of your business. Where are the bottlenecks? What's working? What's not working? Where's the process needing to improve? Where can you increase your horsepower? Okay, where can you increase your horsepower? That's what I want to leave you with today. This is our Entrepreneur Express tip, and it's weekly. I'm so happy you're here. I want to see you live in September. I want to coach you for free in September. So join our five-day challenge. It's a private Facebook group. It's the September Survive and Thrive five-day challenge in Facebook. Join that group. Find that group. And starting September 14th, we will have live coaching sessions with me every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, starting at 12 o'clock. And it will be insane. It will be incredible. It will be intense, high touch, 
and you will gain so much from it. So I know you are busy. I know you are busy, but I want you to take some time to lift your head, think on your business so that we get this right, so that you get this right, and that you are efficient, and you are a power horse, and you are just increasing your team and really making great things happen out there for your families, for your communities, for your teams, for your companies, and for the... Um, for everybody. Okay. So I will see you next time. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you for listening. Please rate, please review. I love the comments and hit subscribe so you can uh, be there for our next episode. Talk to you soon. Entrepreneur, keep evolving.